Good morning, I'm Sunetra Chaudhary, political editor of Hindustan Times, bringing you all that you need to know about COVID-19 on Wednesday, the 20th of May. First up, a look at the numbers. There are now a lakh 5,625 cases across the country. 3,227 people have died, which brings me to our top story. Could India's Mumbai be following the same trajectory of COVID cases as New York City in America. If you just look at the numbers, then New York City accounts for 13% of all of America's cases and also accounts for 22% of deaths. Well, that's not too far away from what Mumbai has become to India. It accounts for 21% of the cases and 25% of deaths. That means out of four people dying of COVID-19 in India, one of them is from Mumbai. Now, the rise in cases in both cities is a bit different. In New York City, it was a steep rise. In Mumbai, it has been a steady rise. But fortunately, the big difference in the two cities is in the fatality rate. In New York, 10% of those who get COVID-19, they end up dead. In Mumbai, it's much less. It's only 3.5%. That actually follows the fatality rate uh, across the country in India. So those are the comparison numbers for both the cities. Comparable in some aspects, but very different in others. Now, what does Cyclone Amphan have to do with COVID-19? Well, MIT researchers say that Cyclone Amphan is among other climate risks, climate disasters, which will compound the handling of COVID-19. They name various other climate risks, including the floods that will take place in parts of our country, in eastern parts of the country that are expected in Bengal. Also, the heat wave in North India. 2020 is also expected to be one of the hottest years ever. Uh, you also have Australian bushfires. All of these crises, MIT researchers say, will just make the management of COVID-19 that much more difficult, that much more challenging for emergency uh, responders. They're also saying it'll compound the economic crisis and also other problems as well. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, three Kerala evacuees now face a criminal investigation and an FIR after it was found out that when they boarded the flight from Abu Dhabi to Thiruvananthapuram, they may have hidden their symptoms. They tested positive after they landed and when authorities tried to find out when they developed those symptoms, they admitted they had them before they got on the flight. So this is a bit of a warning tale for others as well that you will face prosecution because an FIR under the Disaster Management Act has been registered against them. Authorities are trying to figure out exactly what happened before the flight took off because it seems that they may have tested positive in the antibody test but was still put on the flight. Chief Minister Pinari Vijayan has said that he is going to take up this matter with authorities because now all of those people who were on that flight are suspect. They are going to be taken for the RT-PCR test and this is especially significant because now we're going to see more and more transport opening up. In fact, 200 passenger trains without ACs are also going to be opening up soon. There's been a lot of talk about the origin of the coronavirus and a study paper from Australia shows that the coronavirus protein binded best with human cells. They tested with other species as well, bats, pangolins and others, and they found the virus binding best with most energy with human cells. Uh, of course, other scientists say that this isn't enough, that they need more evidence and further studies in order to find out what is the origin of the coronavirus, whether it is just by chance, a chance occurrence, or whether there are other origins of this virus. So this is something that we perhaps have to keep a track of. And finally, we've seen from the long queues outside liquor stores just to what lengths people will go to to buy liquor. Well, bootleggers taking advantage of this also use some novel means. Police have told Hindustan Times how bootleggers use the elderly and the disabled to smuggle these goods. In fact, they arrested a 75-year-old who said she was paid 2,000 rupees for each trip that she would make. They also arrested a 40-year-old disabled person in Bahadurgarh who said that he was paid 500 rupees for smuggling in bottles. Well, that perhaps won't be necessary anymore as a lot of liquor stores are now opening up across the country. Those are the news updates for now. 
keep tracking them on hindustantimes.com.